Nasty dogs. Welcome once again to the Master Christian Dog Show on the BeatDropsRadio.com. This is Master Christian, and we got a good show for you folks. I hope you're having a great day out there, whether you're driving or you're listening at home, you're watching online. We have a call-in number, that's 404-826-9223. A listen-in live number, that's 401-347-0418. Uh, I am Master Christian. You can follow me on Facebook at Master Christian, Instagram at Master Christian 404, Twitter at MCDT 404. You can email me at Master Christian 404 at gmail.com. And you can go to the website at masterchristian.com. We are... Uh, I have a good topic for you today. It's about having fun with your dog. And we're going to talk about a lot of different ways to have fun with your dog. We have some news for you and some breaking events. And everything about educating you about your dog and having a great relationship with it. This is Master Christian, and we'll be right back.
Jay Millie. Hey, make sure you check out Full Belly Radio from 7 to 9 p.m. right here on eJobsRadio.com. Make sure you tune in every Sunday morning for Sunday morning inspiration right here on the BeatDropsRadio.com starting at 9 a.m. Again, every Sunday morning. Inspiration right here on the Beat Josh Radio 9 a.m. Make sure you tune in, download the tune in app so you can take it wherever you go. Win the app right here on the station, streamer radio. We are available. Make sure you get that inspiration that you need. Oh, oh, oh. And you And we're back. This is Master Christian on the Master Christian Dog Show. I'm sitting here with Bianca. And uh, what's up, funny, Bianca? We're back? Yeah, that, we're back. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was funny to me. <laughs> hey, we, we got to come back in. Like they said right before we came in, Full Belly Radio is next. You got to love it. Them guys are funny as, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we were talking about uh, some fun things to do with your dog. Now, now I mentioned funny. And we want to start it off with uh, agility. Note that all dogs are actual at they're natural athletes. Let me get my tongue straight because it was a little off right there. Anyway, natural athlete means that your dog can run, your dog can play, your dog can do everything it wants to do at a high rate of speed if that's what it wants to do. The more you run them, the stronger they get. So if you take them out and run them every day to make them tired, they run a mile a day, they can run a mile and a half tomorrow. But agility is a control thing that you want to take your dog out and teach him how to do some stuff, jump some uh, hoop through some hoops and run around different places, go through some tunnels. Agility is fun, but it takes a, a bond between you and your dog to reproduce that attention. Uh, your dog can also do some animal assisted activities where they go and help people in the hospitals. They work in nursing homes. It's, it's a lot of different settings that you can go in your dog can help people out. Then you have animal assisted therapy also, where you take your dog to the nurse home, they're therapy dogs. You get them certified as service dogs, and then they come in and they do therapy things for people that they need a boost. They need somebody to pick them up. They need, you know, the animal coming around just makes it more fun. And in your daily life, your dog should make things more fun for you. Now, other activities that you can do to have fun, you can teach them to do tricks. You can just sit around and love them if that's fun for you. But you want to make it interesting for the dog. You any, any opportunity that you get to teach your dog something, you want to be trying to teach. Another activity that they have down is backpacking. Dogs love to go places. And the more places you take them, the more they learn, the more you learn, the stronger your bond gets. The question is, how well do you know your dog? And everybody should know their dog pretty well, but normally they don't. Because what we try to do as people is we try to make the dogs people, and the dogs are going to be dogs every day, and we're going to be people every day. Though similar, we have the same muscles and different things going on. They're dogs. We're people. We have evolved. We build things. They don't. It's a special relationship that we can have. But your baby, your puppy is never going to be your child. Sorry. It's just what I'm saying. I'm saying. So what does your dog like to do? is one of them things where you can figure out how to have fun with your dog. Because what might be fun for you might not be fun for them. Let me tell you, every dog out here on the planet has a natural talent, just like every person, just like every living thing, even down to the flower. Flowers do certain things. They bloom at certain times. They last just as long as they're supposed to last. And then they go and something else comes behind them. So what are the natural talents that your dogs have? Now, what, what you can do is, if you want some more information or you have questions, you can go to the call-in line. That's 404-826-9223, and we can, we can start filling your questions so we can help you figure out what's going to be fun for you and your dog. If you don't know, somebody might need to tell you. Do you enjoy your walks with your dog? That's a fun thing, but if you haven't noticed that the dogs want to go to the bathroom your whole walk, then it's not a walk anymore. It's a bathroom break. 
So what you want to do, you want to separate a couple things just so you have more entertainment, more enjoyment, less stress. On your walk, you want to take the dog to the bathroom before you go for the walk. If the dog is trying to go to the bathroom on the walk, you designate an area that the dog will go to, get it done, and keep it moving. You don't need to stop, especially with a male dog. They want to pee on everything. That's their job. They want to mark that territory and up and down the block, every tree, every post, the fire hydrant, every curb. They want to make sure that every dog that passes by know that they've been there. And it's up to you to stop that behavior because that behavior can become excessive. When you're walking and the dog is peeing, you're no longer walking. It's just we're stuck in the matrix and we need to go further. So enjoying your walk is a big thing. You want your dog to walk somewhat in a hill, whether they're trained or not, because if they're crossing your path and tripping you up, then that's no fun either. You know, it's, it's got to be a great positive relationship that you're having with your dog, or it's going to be stressful and frustrating for you. Now, going to the bathroom is, is a special thing I always like to talk about because people don't do it correctly, and then they're stuck in the middle of the street without a bag, and they're looking for some help. Because, you know, in Georgia, it's laws. Your dog goes to the bathroom outside on the ground or somewhere and you don't pick it up. They want some money. You, you ever hear that, Bianca? I didn't know that you got fined, but I did see signs like you need to, like, have a... What, what they going to do, make you pick it up? I don't know. I yeah. know, I ain't know what's They want some money. <laughs> they want some uh, 50, 100. I, I don't know what's fine is because I keep a pocket full of bags. And, yeah, when, and whenever I go to the park, whenever you know the little things that they have bags in. Now... Okay. I actually buy bags, but whenever I go past somewhere that has bags, I take three or four of them really? because I'm not the only person that needs bags. Okay. So when I'm I, looking I, out for the next person. Man, I'm looking out for everybody because when your dog starts going to the bathroom and you don't have any bags, you can see them. They're stuck. They're looking around like, oh, God, am I going to leave this here? And what do I do? When I see that happening and when I see those people caught up, I just walk by and reach in my back pocket, slide of a bag, and keep it moving. And it's like Superman. They're like, thank you, sir. Yeah, it's real funny because they were stuck, and we need them to be unstuck. So when you see bags, get you a couple when you have a dog. Even if you don't have a dog, grab you a couple. They're useful for a lot of stuff. You might not have a bag to put whatever you're putting in the bag. Yeah, they're sanitary, and they're useful. You want to acknowledge uh, Oliver <laughs> Martinez for uh, checking in on them. Oh, Oliver Martinez checking in. How you doing, Oliver? Keep checking in and give us a call if you got any questions. We need to answer these questions because your question might not just be pertinent to you. Your question might be for a lot of people. Call in line again is 404-826-9223. This is the Master Christian Show on the BeatDropsRadio.com. So we need you to call in and, and so we can field those questions. We can help you with what you're doing. Now, more fun things that you can do with dogs is go to the dog park where I'm not a big dog park advocate because a lot of good things happen at the dog park, but a lot of bad things happen at the dog park. So what I do, I keep my dog on leash sadly at the dog park because I don't want my dog to be dominated by any other dog. I don't want my dog to go in there and dominate any other dog. So normally I don't go into the dog park area, but I work my dog and let my dog have fun on the outside. I throw the ball with it sometimes. On leash, yeah, we can't throw the ball far unless we're in our own yard. But, you know, you got dogs that's running around. You ever been to the dog park, Bianca? No, because I, you know, I don't own a dog. But you, you've never been to Piedmont and walked past the dog park? I've been to Piedmont, yes. Okay, you know they got this big, giant area. And then they got this smaller area for okay. small dogs. It's so over on the back area. side. Yeah, that's the dog okay, park area. Like, like, I'm in Piedmont. Let me tell you. For this event and, and they have parties over there sometimes. Oh, okay. They sell alcohol up in there. They do. They doing everything. It's music the people at the dog park. So that's one of those fun things when, when somebody's having an event at the dog park. It's fun to go because they're selling stuff. You know, you see the dogs in different clothes. <laughs> you know you know made some people mad when you said dogs aren't your children. They're not. But I mean, know, I'm, I'm just, some folks that, it, it's fine they, for them to love them and all that and, <laughs> and be the best that they can be with the dog, but we need to separate human beings, two-legged animals, know, from four-legged four animals. No, they, they don't need to be mad. <laughs> this, this is all love. We, we love you here. We love your dog. Hey, I even got a site that says, you love my dogs because I got the coolest dogs in the world. You think you do. It's really me. <laughs> it, 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 hey, I just, I'm just saying. 
That's that's what I gotta tell them. My dogs are cooler than yours. Really? If you want your dogs to be cooler than mine, bring them around and we'll check them out. <laughs> so you hey, you know, but we're gonna wrap up this session and we'll have some more talk about uh fun things to do with your dog. It's fun just talking about dogs, especially to somebody that doesn't have a dog because hey, they don't know. This is Master Christian on the BeatDropsRadio.com. WBBE. We'll be right back.
Back from the lab, it's Master Christian on the Master Christian Dog Show. Bianca, I was going to go into some news about dogs and everything, but what, what's going on with people out here? What's, what's, what's wrong with people? I think it's just uh, coming to a head. What's already been there? It's like a pimple that was festering. Yeah, it's been growing. Is it going to pop? I don't know, man. man I mean, uh, you know, they, they're talking about a whole lot of serious things that's happening in the news right now. Most people are paying attention. Um, but I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Dog security system. Dog security system. Dog or security system. Dog security system. So just the dog. The dog. In light of everything, do you think? In light of all of the things that are going on, your dog is going to be the best bet because the security system can't defend you. It can just it can alert, make a loud noise. It can make a loud noise. It can get on somebody's nerves, but physically, by the time the authorities get there to save you, if they ever come. You know, they might have been busy. What about Some, both though? Because like, yeah, both, like both, both is good too. Yeah, but while the dog is deterring the person, that that means you have the time to prepare yourself to engage this threat. So your dog is a deterrent. Your dog is down here. The people are trying to shoot the dog. What are you doing? Hiding in the closet? Don't do that, because the dog is willing to give his life for you. So you got to be willing to back the dog up when it goes into action. Well, some people might have a dog because they are, you know, they punks. Yeah, but, you know. Somebody breaking into the you, door, you it's can't, like, listen, listen, I'm going to go the other way. You, you can't be a punk your whole life. And if somebody walks in your house and tells you to lay down, do you? Really? Do you? You just lay down? That, that's not how this works. So I would go for both. But first and foremost, I will go for the dog because the dog is not only going to be your security system, it's going to be your fire alarm, it's going to be your therapist, it's going to, you know, it's, 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 it's got a lot of things going on. When you get out to pump gas, if your dog is riding with you, why would you leave your car, dog in the car? Couldn't you get hit in the head while you're pumping gas? Couldn't somebody sneak up on you and around that pump? Are you saying take the dog out while you're pumping gas? Take the dog Why? out. Because Why take the dog out? security doesn't just go for your house. Don't you want to be secure at the pump? Maybe. I mean, I'm just. I'm, I'm just. I just, I, I'm I never just considered, you never considered you know, that your safety at the pump? You never considered why you standing out there holding I mean, I, that pump? I, I wouldn't think that they would try to carjack you with a dog sitting there looking like. No, not carjack. Let, let's just hit you in the head and go in your pockets. Let's let's take you off and rape you and molest you. You you need some security everywhere you go. It's crazy people and everywhere. The door, the door open? No, nah, because then take your dog gonna get, take it out and have it on leash. So now you have a bubble. You have a perimeter that people can't really get to you. So let me tell you, Barack Obama got two dogs over there. They are they are working dogs. They can be trained for other things than playing with them and swimming in the pool. You gotta tighten up. You got you got people that are looking to harm you, and y'all aren't using the tools that have been set forth. If all of these soldiers are using these dogs to fight ISIS, ISIL, whoever their name is, <laughs> because I really can't commit to that because it's some fool of me, but. If all these soldiers are using the dogs to fight these threats, wouldn't it be like smart that we use the dogs to fight the threats right it upon us? It seems like the, the dogs, even with the, the, the gentleman that jumped the, the, jumped the fence over the White House, why didn't they let the dogs go? The dogs should have already been let loose. Okay, but that goes to the, the um, bombing in Boston. The dogs would have found those goofy boys. Why didn't they use the dogs? The boy was hiding in the boat behind the house. And the people would have found them, but the people weren't able to find them because they made the people stay in the house. As soon as the people were allowed to come outside, they found the man. All the FBI, all the King's forces, and all the King's men, they couldn't find nobody. The boy was in the boat in the back of the house. Yeah, he was in the boat. Uh, they had his clothing and things from when they had that altercation in the street. So my thing is, you take a Belgian shepherd, a Dutch shepherd, German shepherd, bloodhound, uh, a uh, dachshund that knows how to smell, I don't care what you take, but you take something and you have them go find because that's what they're good at. They can smell way better than us and we can't smell nobody out. You know, the people take their dogs home and they teach them how to search the house. When they come home, they send the dog around and the dog searches every room and everything. But this is what I tell people, that's great. That's a nice trick. 
And when your dog gets home and somebody's there, they didn't use the same kind of soap. They don't have on the same kind of deodorant. They didn't spray the same kind of cologne or perfume that you sprayed. If your dog doesn't pick up that person that's in your house, as soon as you step through the threshold, or if not outside, your dog not working. Mm. Because they should know that something new came around. As much as they're smelling on everything, how many talk, times people dog smell you when you walk up here? All the time, I can't stand all. All in your butt, all in your side, yeah, yeah, everything. Move, yeah. get your dog. Oh my God! Now that was what the correct that? thing to say. Get your dog, because if the people don't get their dog, then their dog is gonna do what it wants to do. But we're not doing training. We did training last week. We're doing fun things. Security <laughs> is a fun thing to do with your dog because you end up alive in the morning. One would think. Now, on that same token. In Georgia, if you don't post caution canine and post vicious dog signs, they made a law last year that if you just got to beware of dog out there and somebody breaks into your house and you have a security trained dog, the person that breaks into your house, if your dog attacks them, they can sue you and win. You got to beware of dog. Yeah, that means that, beware. That means beware of a dog. That could be a chihuahua. You oh. need to post something that says that you have a security dog to cover yourself. They need to make them signs and stop, hey, you know, stop selling them just to beware dog. It's up to the person. Because if the person is not proactive, that's what we're saying. Proactive. I heard of you in your last show. Proactive. Yeah, proactive against all these. About the posting things. Stuff. It's like slippery when wet. Dogs find the bombs too. But if you don't, if we got a puddle on the floor and you didn't post that it was wet, you know, and this young man gets up and slips in it, you know. You say it wet floor, but can you prove it? We got to prove these things. So when we post the right things, then when that man come through your window and your dog tear him out of frame, you can go ahead and call the police with pride. You can put two in him, too. Now, I'm just saying, because <laughs> that could be, you, you got somebody breaking in your house. You, you say beware of dog. They breaking in, and you subject to whatever is going to happen when you enter, to enter my house. You breaking into my house. And that sounds good. But the judge is going to say, your dog attacked this man. Yes, he broke into your house, but he filed a lawsuit after he broke into your house. So what are you going to do? And we'll, we'll get to. That's crazy. Dogs are biting. And more victims are collected. That's that's what I have right here. Let me show you what, what's going on. Dogs are biting, and more victims are collected. So we want to be proactive about our dogs. Yes, we want to be safe, and we want to have the alarm system, and we want to have the security dog to take care of everything. But we still need to know what the laws are because a good education beats everything. And the law states that they can get money if your dog attacks them. And this it's not just them breaking into your house. Say you go over to your friend's house and the dog bites you. Instant lawsuit. You can sue your friend for the dog bite. Okay. Now, if they don't have any money, like you were saying, uh, homeowner's insurance, everybody doesn't have to carry it. That's right. So after you, after you own your home. After you, you own your home. Now, when you say own the home, that means after you finish paying the you bank pay for it. it. Okay. So yeah. not yeah. everybody is a true homeowner. Right. So, you know, when you're making payments, you got you, you have to have homeowners insurance. Correct. So in case something like that happens, then then the bank's not liable. You know, then they can sue you and they can right. get something. But if you already own your home, you don't have to have that. But they can sue. It, de it depends on how vicious the bite was also. Because if the dog really damages you, hmm. that person can go to jail. You know, the dog can know, be put down. It, it's, so, it's so many. I guess it just depends on on. You know, we had a, a situation where this lady came in. Um, why well, don't say this lady? She was fighting who, who was bit, viciously bit by a dog and, and tore her down. And she found out that there's a, a uh, in Georgia that the dog can bite at least once. Yeah, they can. So and then they know, have to be quarantined. Yeah, they they, they can go nothing. back. They didn't do anything to the man. <clears> you know, I mean, just it was just crazy. Well, that what I'll say to that is, if you know people have vicious dogs, don't go over there. No, it's not that she knew she was visiting someone else, mm -hmm. and they and the neighbor took her dog. Her dog was in the the uh, backyard of the person she was visiting. Went uh -huh. out to get a dog. Dog was taken. She's walking around saying, "Have y'all seen my dog? Have you seen my dog?" That's what took place, you know. And uh, the man came out, saw her, sicked his dog on her, and oh, she yeah. she jumped up on the van. 
but her leg was was dangling. He got a hold of that leg, and I'm, I saw the pictures. It was terrible. Oh yeah. And when a neighbor came with a baseball bat, was about to hit the dog. He called him off, and uh, the police were called. He didn't have homeowners insurance. Didn't have to. She couldn't file suit. They didn't do anything to him. They didn't do anything with the dog. And she been. She's just now getting back to work after being on board for five months. Well, I'm I'm gonna crazy. I'm I'm gonna tell you, uh, 2020. But in this world that we live in, 2014, pull your phone out and start recording anything funny. You almost got to leave it on record and just be walking around with it because you need to be able to record the man sicking the dog on you. Then you got a case. But you don't know that's going to happen. You looking for your dog? You, you that, just this, this is true. Dog. This is true. That's an unfortunate situation that, right that, there. That is. That's very really unfortunate situation right there. You ain't trying to. You just visiting a friend and this fool next door got issues. Yeah. I, if, if it's happened once, then he'll do it. Again. Yeah. Oh, well, Clayco. <laughs> you know, a lot of things happen in Clayco that, yeah. hey. That's just crazy. Now, we're going to wrap this up, but we're going to talk more about uh, things in the news with these dogs and stuff, with these people and everybody else around the country. This is the Master Christian Dog Show on the BeatDrops.com radio. And <laughs> say I say that all wrong that time. The BeatDropsRadio.com. We'll be right back.
and once again, <laughs> we're back with the Master Christian Dog Show. I got super producer Bianca right here. Uh, Bianca's had a lot to talk about today. I think she's angry about people working out. I don't know. <laughs> she's been cracking on folks in, in in between the show. But before we talk about that, let's talk about uh, pet owners in New York at a popular park in Queens. They think someone is poisoning their park. Dogs are getting sick. People are getting mad. They tried to make a new off-leash law or something. And they say that dogs have been getting, numbers of dogs have been getting sick going to this park. My question is, what's my question? Why, why you put me on the, I'm over here working stuff. Why do they keep taking them to the park? Yeah, why do they keep taking them? If it's sickness in the park. Yeah, because that's they, what I'm asking you. Why they keep taking them to the park? But they feel like their dog is, is like, you know, it ain't going to take them. They, they, they eat no super chews. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They must have a blue thinking. buffalo with a life source bits or yeah, something. something like you that. know, blue it's buffalo, y'all need to holler at me. I just gave y'all a plug. Then we got, uh, we got a lot going on here, but, but I tell you, when you take your dog to the park, if the park is contaminated, don't take your dog back. Let's let's be real about it. We could be silly and everything and laugh and joke. If you find it contaminated, don't take your dog back. And I had something around here about parvo because I get a lot of people that call me with puppies that are defecating with blood in their stool and they're losing weight and doing a lot of things. And that's called parvo. That's either your dog ate some infected stool or you walked in some infected stool and walked it up in your house or the dog stepped in it and licked it off his foot and nasty Please yeah painting all these nasty images hey because you got to be aware when you take your dog out watch where your dog walks especially if you got a puppy you cannot let your dog get parvo get your dog vaccinated with the parvo vaccine early and make sure that you don't have any strange stool be on your game Clean your yard up. How many people you know with dogs with dogs that's all over the yard? I don't care if it's in the front, if it's in the back. When they go to the bathroom, clean it up. Then you don't have it sitting there in the yard. Then your dog can't get sick. Then you can't step in and track it into your home. Then you don't have to clean your shoes. Then and then and then and then and then. Let's be smart, people. It's, it's all about being smart about what you're doing. It's Proactive. science. See, yeah. that dovetails back to proactiveness. I'm, proactive. I'm going to be quiet. Doug was proactive about what? <laughs> so like i said get your dog vaccinated go to a qualified vet if you don't have one call in we can get you one we know a lot of vets around here we know a lot of good people groomers and everything we know some dog trainers you need to check out master christian dog training at masterchristian.com uh master christian can help you with all your dog training needs if you need to uh Find us on Facebook, it's Master Christian. Instagram is Master Christian 404. Twitter is MCDT404. Email Master Christian 404 at gmail.com. Website, like I said, masterchristian.com. I might know enough to help you. I believe I do. You need to try it because some of these people need help no matter what goes on. Your relationship with your dog is up to you. If you want a happy pet, you need to be a happy person. You need to treat them good and make sure that it happens. Now, Back to this news and everything about uh, the president and all of that. Really, I'm, I'm serious. They need to back people up off of people that are important. And the only way to be sure, because these people are seriously afraid of these animals, is to have them out there and have them doing the job and the purpose that they were meant to do. Do you think that the dog should be patrolling the, the White House? Uh, Absolutely. You think? Absolutely. Why not? Why wouldn't you have a dog on patrol when... Well, maybe they want to make sure that they don't have any lawsuits or something. Somebody might bait the dogs. Okay, they but might try to you know poke at you. Know how some folks do that. Remember when it look officer on like, leash. Officer on like, leash. We used to be like jump the fence. Remember that jump the fence mm -hmm. and the dog jumped the fence and everybody scattered. Yeah, but see, in a controlled environment, you're dealing with security. You're dealing with secret service and people that supposedly have a system. They may not know, but they're they're working within a system. So okay. the system should be to they have to implement that dog into that system and they already have it going on. They're just not using them all the time. And I, I do not understand why, because it's an asset. It's an asset, not a liability. The dogs, nose picks up people, the dogs, people are just afraid of dogs just by looking at them. You know, it's a lot of people. I've had customers come in 
and some of them can't even look at pit bulls. I've had ladies. Yeah, but still, if you feel like that's a threat, these eyes are the only thing that you can make sure that threat is not coming for you. So if you look away from a threat, you become prey. These eyes are so special. When you're having a relationship with your dog, they used to say, don't look the dog in the eye. I'm going to tell you right now, look the dog in the eye, look the bear in the eye, look the person in the eye. Anything you're trying to have a relationship, yeah, don't lay down. <laughs> Let me tell you. Don't lay down. So if the bear stands up to his 10 feet stand over you, you want to fight the bear. You can't run. And if you play dead, what do, what do you think the bear came there for? I you mean, think the bear could have just been walking across the street. Right, but when the, when the bear rush up on you, what do you think the bear came there for? I don't know. You, you say attack, I say feed. Okay. The bear came there to eat. So it's really nothing you can do. If you lay on the ground and play dead, human then... Ain't, human ain't on the menu. Why not? Like, who who they, took they human off the menu? Human See, ain't on the menu. I'm, I'm just saying that That's that false sense of security that I talk about, that we were talking about during the break, that we don't think that no, the bombs attack. are going off over here. No, no it's, it's not an attack. They eat meat. You are meat. Why wouldn't they want to eat you? What book did the bear read that took you off the menu? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it's out. It's normal interaction, that's all. What? It's not. Normal Why? Because normally the bears are in a cage and you're waving no, at them at the zoo. Normally they're bears different. are omnivorous. They what? Eat, they eat both meat and plants. Right. And when you're around, you're the meat that they want to eat. They might not have seen a deer or a fish or anything in a month. And here you come. It's the same thing with the shark. We talked about the shark. The shark, I'm, look, I'm not trying to be in no water anyway. Yeah, yeah, but I, I definitely ain't gonna be. I hear them screaming, "Shark attack! Shark attack! Shark attack!" A shark has never attacked a person ever, ever. Oh no, I feel you on that one. I'm I'm in one hundred percent agreement. So with you, they trying to eat the bear, eat meat, the lion, eat meat, the alligator, but, eat but meat. But the shark ain't walking in my neighborhood. You guess know, guess what's funny? Georgia, them jokers is walking in people's neighborhoods. The bears? Yeah. yeah because you, see that? you you just said the key word: people's neighborhoods. Right. Who gave these people this neighborhood? Man, what it, it belonged to the bear, and then what? they cut down the trees and they put these houses yeah. up. So you better guard your neighborhood if it belongs to you. That's crazy. You better go hard, because they're gonna go hard. <laughs> yeah, they they they're ready to die for what they believe in. They don't even have to sit down and read it out of book. They don't have Did to do no prayer. It's like a, a family of, of bears that I think they can't even Marietta, and they was in a did anybody remember that? Seen that on the news? Oh yeah, when a it, it, it was a couple bears rolling around yeah. and they were checking the trash and all that. Well, yeah, because that's where you put food at. Exactly. So they're gonna check your trash and then they're gonna check your door and then they're gonna come in if they can't. Yeah. That's you know, much. if you are where the lion is, you think the lion not gonna eat you? See, look. Stand on the side of the water, lion. you think the, the gator or the crocodile not gonna come and get you? Going to where they live, man. Yeah, but. Where I'm not trying to they so used weird. to live all around here. We cleared the trees. Man, we laid have, some concrete. They have a, that's why they call them Florida gators. They typically <laughs> have different areas. <laughs> if, a, if an alligator popped up in Decatur, you know that's gonna be we're gonna be like, what the what? Anybody think about no alligator in Decatur? Okay, but you go it's to Lake, you go to Lake Lanier, somebody done let one loose, you swimming in the water and it grabs your leg or something. See? It's not as natural, you know. I mean that's a man Lake Lanier is man made. That yeah, but natural, like, it's it's a body of water, right? And anything that settles, anything that you, they can get in, they'll get in and make it their home. I mean, we give dogs houses. Is that their natural house? Of course not. But All they right. can be domesticated. Can they? Yeah. If Obviously, we, you if, a dog trainer. If we stay on our game, no, they they can be domesticated, but right. they're still animals, right? Just like we can't be domesticated either. How many people you seen act up this week? Maybe today. You did the news and everything, so you've seen a lot of people act up. You were talking about it earlier. They don't do it. We're not real domestic, are we? We can be. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Most times, go crazy. Okay, like like the football player? That was real. Which one? Any of them. Any of them. The, <laughs> all, the, of, the, all of them is doing some. The one that's cut out of steel, and he, he hard as Superman, and he punches his uh, girlfriend, wife, whatever you want to call her. He punches her. He's in, in multiple car about? crashes every day. You know what I heard, though? About, you, uh, you talking about Ray Rice? Yeah, yeah I'm talking about Ray. Yeah. Too many Ray Rays out here doing I stuff. I had to go back and look. If you're familiar with uh, Jason the Diva Maker from uh, MTV's Making the Band. Yeah, 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 yeah I've heard about that. Um, 
he he brought up something. I had to go back and look at it. He said she spit in his face. Okay. And he reacted. Still. I said he spit in still. She spit still, in his face. Still, still, still. She spit. I understand all of that is disgusting. Oh yeah. The man is cut out of steel. <laughs> and when you're cut out of steel, that shouldn't contact anyone's face because you know you can do it. You're yeah. powerful enough to. You don't think it was a reaction? Hey, you got to curb look, your reaction. I feel you. He, he, you he got to curb your exactly. reaction. We are thinking beings. That's what gets us in trouble. We think too much. But that wasn't a life or death situation he was in. The spit could not kill him. It's nasty, though. It's real nasty. It nasty. Don't spit on me, by the way. <laughs> Even when you're chewing your food and talking, keep that slobber to Hold yourself. Hold on that to yourself. Uh, dogs going to spit on you a lot. Dogs with big jaws, they drool. It'll be all on your pants. <laughs> It'll be a problem. And their owner will let them walk right up on you and put it in your lap. But that's another discussion for a different day. This has been Master Christian on the BeatDropsRadio.com. WBBE. Give me a call. We'll answer your questions. Master Christian. Gone.